Hey everybody, welcome to the webinar replay video. I'm not going to post the, the entire webinar because it was over like an hour in length and I actually uh, forgot to record it last night. So I'm doing this webinar replay. I've got the, the slides here and I'm going to go through them with you and uh, show you everything that we need to know uh, because we need to know how to sell 1,000 plus necklaces per campaign with Gearbubble. And if you don't know what I mean when I'm talking about that, that's fine. I'm going to walk you through everything. By the end of this webinar, you're going to have the exact system that we use in order to generate these awesome sales and these awesome campaigns and make these profits that we do. So here is the agenda that we're going to go through. Just uh, one thing about uh, my videos, I'm going to skip all the fluff and I'm going to jump right into it. I know your time is valuable and so is mine. So we're going to do an introduction, show you a little bit of proof, and then we're going to do the case study. So we're going to walk you right through the uh, campaign that actually did sell and is currently still selling it's over a thousand um, I'll show you where it's at because I've got actual screenshots in real time too not just images so introduction who who am I well my name's Will I'm the owner of ppccoach.com trained well over 10,000 affiliate marketers started full-time in 2007 part-time in 2004 uh, started out as a CPA marketer and then actually opened up my own CPA network and for the past year two years i've been getting heavily into physical product marketing uh t-shirts hoodies necklaces mugs you name it all that good stuff my uh buddy on this is uh chris he's the owner of several companies online and offline um he was one of the first to really start pushing t-shirts online through teespring and if you guys bought one of those uh, it was a super popular uh facebook ads course uh, his case studies were actually used in that. So combined, Chris and I have well over 2 million in sales so far. So uh, the, the only reason I show you that is to just kind of show you that we know what we're doing. Now this this 2 million, uh, that's mine on the right and that's Chris's there, combined is in t-shirts. Okay, so we've, we've basically mastered the t-shirt um, marketing side. So now what we've done, we're always expanding, always playing around, always experimenting. We actually shifted our focus to necklaces. So that's what this um, video is all about, is the necklaces. And these are just some samples from Gearbubble. I took a couple screenshots of a couple random campaigns. Got uh, one there with 1,068 sold. Uh, there's a couple with like 171, 37, which isn't great. But the reason I show you that is these little campaigns do actually grow into these big ones, okay, over time, using the methods that we apply. Uh, 148, 50, 33, another big one at uh, 1,318, 249, three, uh, 37, and there's a lot more that we could pull too, but I just wanted to give you an idea that uh, we actually do this. We do this, I do this every day, so, um, and I'm going to show you the system I use. So this is a case study, and I'm going to show you everything, the Facebook ad campaign, the gear bubble page, the images, anything you want to see, okay? We ran uh, a necklace that targeted police moms. And this is a niche that we're already in, and we've done very well with it for t-shirts in the past. You may have seen our one that sold uh, over 5,000 on Teespring, just talking about uh, Police Mom. Uh, you'll see the exact slogan, but um, it did very, very well. So we're going to show you the results, and we're going to show you how we did it. So let's jump right into a little screenshot here. Um, this was taken, uh, actually, when it was at 1,070. And the revenue was 21697 I'm going to show you real-time stuff here, too, in a minute. And then here's the expenses on that from my Facebook campaign. Uh, so 14971 So the revenue was 21697 Expense 14971 Profit $6,725. For an ROI of 45%, which uh, I'm pretty happy with, actually, because it's been running for a long time. Now, uh... Um, before I dive into the actual, uh, you know, walking through the campaigns here, just want to talk about one thing that, that you're going to ask is how do you determine what a good niche is? And so I've got a little rule of thumb for you here, a little um, tactic that we use for every single niche that we go into. It has to be a passionate niche, okay? The niche must always meet these three <clears throat> criteria. Number one, they have to have disposable income. Otherwise, how are they going to buy it? Number two, they have to be passionate about the topic. And number three, they can be easily found on Facebook. So for our Police Mom one, uh, they, it meets all three quite nicely. So they have disposable income. They're older females. Um, they are passionate about the topic. 
uh, definitely because they're proud of their sons or, um, yeah, son in, the, in this case. And they can e be easily found on police or on Facebook, police book, on Facebook. Because if you type in police into an interest, into an ad, there's uh, several million results in there. So here is what we did. Um, well, let me show you the campaign first. So let me pull this over here. Okay, so this is my actual um, account. <clears throat> so you can see we actually sold a bit more now because this is running every three days on a cycle. Uh, it's an evergreen campaign, so it automatically relaunches every three days. And you can see that it's at uh, 1,110 sold. So I actually sold a couple more. If you want to see the actual sales page, here you go. So this is what it looks like on gear bubble and you can see that we priced it at 27.95 there's a design it says please mom uh, some people only dream of meeting their hero I raised mine and this campaign ends on the 21st but on the 21st it's going to automatically relaunch on gear bubble and you can see what I did with the text too I just ask a question are you a proud police mom simple yeah uh, well obviously if, if they're on this page then yeah so then this is for you. Make sure you share it on Facebook. Get yours now. Offer in soon. And this, this stuff here is a standard that comes when you open it. They can, they can view the item details. UV resistant waterproof 18 inch necklace. Fits great on anyone. Pendant is one inch in diameter. Silver plated custom hardened red resin insert. Highest quality color vibrance. That's nice that they put that on there. I think that really helps conversions. Big buy it now button. Easy to do. They can uh, like it, tweet it, whatever they want to do. Down here they can share it, share on Facebook, share on Twitter. So um, it's really good for that. I, I love the setup that they use on Gearbubble. And you can follow this campaign too. Um, just a word of warning, I already had a guy that uh, copied this. And it was promptly taken down uh, by uh, when we reported it to Gearbubble. Because um, I, I don't mind people competing in the niche. But please be unique when you compete in it. Don't take somebody else's design and just rip it because you think it's the easy way to do it. That basically makes you a bad person. So don't do it. Take it, take the idea or the niche and put your own spin on it. Do unique things and you'll be far better off, okay? So that's the gear bubble one. So actually we're at 22497 now. And if I load up the ad campaign itself, yeah, you can see we spent more too. We're at 15000 Um I wanted to show you a couple things on this page, kind of what we did. Uh, these results, you'll see there's big gaps here. These are actually where the campaign was paused, here and here. I haven't run it for a while because I've been busy creating the course and running my other campaigns. But um, over here, this gap from October 26th to November 3rd, uh, Gearbubble had actually had a uh, production. Well, they had a time where they were hiring more people to... Uh, make sure that necklaces got out in time so they stopped taking new orders on necklaces for about a week till they could catch up and then the owner uh, Don Wilson he actually hired on more people and increased production capabilities and now it's running really strong so it's a good thing that it's very good when the owners of companies like this communicate with uh, the sellers and let them know what's going on so that's why there's gaps here and then here I, I basically stopped it here and then I restarted just recently to get it back going again um, but you can see some of my ad sets as well the top ones there's retargeting in here there's conversion look-alike retargeting look-alike you can see who I targeted so it was basically females 45 plus that I went after and uh, I think I put that they were parents too and if you want to see the actual ad and we just click on even this one and you can see the ad over here well, we can see my targeting. Uh, this is a retargeting audience in the United States. And I didn't even do parents. I just did females 45 plus in the U.S. on the retargeting list for police. Okay. And what I did is run a, what's called a website conversion campaign. So this is optimized for conversions. So I can do this. Yeah. I had delivery optimized for conversions and I did it uh, paying per impression. So every time the ad was shown, um, I'd be charged. And you can see this one's inactive right now. I should probably restart this one. 
So if I click it, I can show you the actual ad over here. And this is how it looks on a phone, because this is a mobile campaign. And it says, do you agree with this? Then this is for you. Click here to order yours, tag an officer in the comments, and then gearbubble.com. So when they click it, they go through to this page from Facebook. And it works very, 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 very well. So um, the technical side of this setup is, is a lot. It would take quite a while for me to go through all this. So I'm not going to go through every single detail on this with you guys right now. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you that it does work. Worked very well and um, continues to work, basically. So let's go back over here. Move this over. And let's show you how kind of the system that we use now. So here's the steps, okay? Um, with every campaign, and including this police one that I just showed you, there's basically four steps or phases that we go through. And they are, number one, we test things before we launch. So phase one is test, phase two is launch, phase three is scale, and phase four is scale some more. And the scaling part is where a lot of people struggle, but uh, we've got it down pretty well. So just to touch on each one of those, in the test phase, we don't launch it on the actual platform yet. We create a mock-up of the necklace. We post that mock-up on Facebook. Then we run a $5 24-hour test ad campaign to it. We then check to see if it's worth launching or not using a formula we call a cost per yes or CPY. So it's patent pending, I guess. This is a, f uh, it's basic. It's $5 because that's how much our campaign was divided by the number of yeses on the test campaign. In the ad, or the actual post, there's no link to buy it. All it says is, would you wear this? Post a yes in the comments below if you would. Picture of the necklace, and that's it. Then we run a $5 ad campaign at that. After 24 hours, we go in, and we literally count how many people said yes. I mean, and it, it's shocking that like a lot of people will. The more you have, the better. And so you take $5 divided by the number of yeses on the test. If the cost per yes is $10 or less, we move to phase two. So phase two, now we launch the necklace on Gearbubble. We set the pricing, description, pixels for tracking. We do all that good stuff. We create a retargeting list if we don't have one already. And a retargeting list just means that we can show ads to more to people who clicked on our ad in the past. So we can show them the ad again. And think of it like a TV commercial. You keep seeing them over and over and over and over. There's a reason for that. For that. Sometimes it takes seven, eight, nine 10 times before it, it will actually register in your brain and then you have brand awareness and then you think next time you're in the store you think oh I, I saw a commercial for that I like that I want to buy that well it's the same with ads online if you keep seeing something eventually it might trigger something in your head for you to buy it okay now um, we create our ads uh, as a website conversion ad that means a 1200 by 628 picture image and you saw the actual ad itself that I showed you just a minute ago. Um, but we split it out by mobile, desktop, and right side ads to see which one's going to perform better. And once that's done, um, we all, we're always checking on these two, but uh, we moved to phase three, which is our scaling phase. So now we have momentum, so it's time to really explode our sales. We start our lookalike ads now. Um, Facebook builds these audiences for us based on our data. And it's really neat how they do it because Facebook has a ton of data. We use three kinds of lookalikes in this um, phase, in phase three. We have retargeting lookalike, conversion lookalike, and page lookalike. So the, these are all created right within our ad account. And then we can run our ads to the audiences that Facebook tells us to. So it's cool that they're helping us out like that. Um, after that, there's phase four which is the scaling more phase. So now we're rocking and rolling. Uh, we're really moving along. So we got some new ads now. And you can see as we move along, the actual size of these audiences that we're showing the ads to increases dramatically. So we run things called no interest ads and broad interest ads in this phase. And no interest means we're relying on the pixel in order to optimize our campaigns. And we literally have no interest. We have no targeting besides the gender and the age, okay? And then we'll split it out by desktop, mobile, and right side again. So these have gigantic audiences. Like if you take 
uh, females age 45 plus in the US, I think it's like 55 million people. That's how big your audience is going to be for this ad. And you really have to trust Facebook to run these and optimize it based on your pixels. So you can't run these right away. It takes a while to build up the pixel to the point where you can run these, okay? Broad interest is just a little variation of the no interest because we're taking now just the broadest kind of interest we can find. So for the police one, we would put in the word police as our target. And then it would be females 45 plus police in the U.S. And that's it. So that audience has, again, like several million in size. It's a gigantic audience. And these ads in phase four can actually be run for quite a while because the audiences are so big and we're letting Facebook use their intelligence and their data to figure out who to show our ad to profitably. Now, that's not it. Um, there's also the daily management. So this is a part that a lot of people struggle with, but you have to get in the habit of every day uh, logging into your Facebook account and your GearBubble account, and you have to be checking on your cost per conversion for every rat, every ad that you're running. And we like to look at all-time numbers on the newer campaigns, and then if it's been running for a couple of months, we'll look at like last seven days, last 14 days, see if we can see any trends uh, going up or down. Now, if the cost per conversion is more than our maximum spend, we pause the ad. If the cost per conversion is less than our maximum spend, we keep the ad going and we can even increase the budget. Okay, so that's just something that you have to look at. A lot of people will post asking for help and they'll say, you know, I have a campaign, I've spent $40, I've got one sale, I don't know what to do. Well, that's not enough information because it doesn't matter what your entire overall campaign spent or made. What matters is what each individual ad has spent and made. So that's where the money's made. You have to go down to the micro level, to the ad level, to figure this out and manage these. Okay. So why am I showing you all this? Well, I actually have a little course that I put out called, well, it's not little, but called Necklace Blueprint. Okay. And this is a four week online course teaching all this in detail. Okay, every seven days, you get a new series of video training. All four phases are explained in detail via over-the-shoulder videos. You can watch me work on the policeman campaign over-the-shoulder. I'm going to show you the members area in a second. There's also a dedicated Facebook group for 24-7 support and masterminding. And we do a weekly Q&A uh, live webinars so we can take questions and answer them and provide some cool little surprise bonuses throughout. So let me show you that real quick. Here's the actual members area. And you see you get a welcome thing, weekly question and answer, access to the Facebook group. And then when you log in right here on the right, um, it'll be flashing, it'll say join the group. And then you can view the group at any time through here. And I'll show you the group too in a second. So what I suggest is people go here, go to the, oop, go to the training. And here's the courses, it'll split out by week one, week two, week three, week four. When People first join, they see week one, and then seven days later, week two shows up, and then seven days later, week three, and then seven days later, week four. But um, I also understand that some people are a little bit more advanced and they want to hit the uh, later phases right away. So I'm willing to be flexible and open up these weeks early. Um, if you do buy the course and you want access to the, to the later weeks, um, just uh, send me a message or send me an email, or actually just use the contact form here. Once you get in here, just send me a message through here with your uh, username and I will go in and unlock it for you. Let's get back here, home and then training. So I just want to show you kind of what's in here. Week one, this is how it's laid out. Section one, welcome, preparation. Uh, this is how you view them. You actually view the video, videos, creating the campaign and then homework. So here's like you click here, it takes you to the actual video. It'll load up in a second here. You can play it. You can take notes. You can download the video if you want. Okay, very cool. And let's go back to the home training. And then week two is the same. All the videos are listed. It tells you where you're at. Okay, there's this too. Contact, ask a question, whatever you want to do. Get a lot of support. But the really good one is when you get on the group. Okay, so let me show you the group very quickly. Now I have to kind of put it on the side because I don't want you to see all my pages and everything. But here's the group. So this is a closed group. You can see there's at this point in time 124 members in here. 
So people are, are already doing this. And basically they just post questions and then we answer and then we all provide support and kind of mastermind that way. So it's really cool. There's a lot of activity in here right now, which is great. Um, this I think is where the, the, a lot of value from the course actually comes from because you're not just getting, um, video training. You're also getting the Facebook group, which is awesome. And then the webinars and the little surprise bonuses we're throwing in there too are really, really good. So, um, what's in it for you? Well, you're going to get a jump start on the rest of of the population who are still focusing on t-shirts only. You can really profit from this advantage. You get to benefit from veteran leadership and mentoring. And the bottom line is you don't have to reinvent anything. It's all been it's all been done and laid out for you step by step with support. I mean, see that? I can even make corrections on the fly. So here's the thing. I got a little special for the webinar that we offered. Um, I'm offering $200 off, okay? The course costs $497. We're offering $200 off as a webinar special. Uh, this is not going to stay up forever. The discount actually expires Sunday at midnight. So you can use the discount code webinar to get it. So this is the link that you're actually on right now. But just in case you need it in the future, it's uh, necklaceblueprint.com slash webinar replay. And so what's next? Join us. Come on. Join. Why not make some money? Why not get some help? Why not learn how to scale more? Um, why not take advantage of the mastermind? Um, the beauty of the Facebook group is there's a lot of people in there who are in the exact same shoes as you, and they speak your language. If you've ever tried to talk to your spouse or significant other or friends or family about what you do, you can literally watch their eyes roll into the back of their heads after 30 seconds of you talking because they have no idea what you're talking about. It's horrible. And we, we kind of work on islands as entrepreneurs online. We're kind of alone. So getting in this group... Um, the Facebook group is motivating and we get a lot of support and we provide support and there's a lot of aha moments and light bulbs that go off in that group. And there's a lot of people already making some pretty decent money in there. So there's also not just me, there's a lot of other really big hitters in there that are doing really well and they're a part of the group too. So, um, join us, watch the videos, get some campaigns running, profit, repeat. It's that simple. That's the page you're on. The offer does expire Sunday at midnight. Um, I can't leave it at $200 off forever. Uh, after that, the price goes back up to $497. So I would love to have you in there. I'd love to work with you. I'd love to help you out if I could. Um, I think it's just something that you should jump on right now. Now is the perfect time to do it. Um, necklaces are just, the sales are skyrocketing. The market's wide open. So I think you should take advantage. Hop in there. Why not? have some massive savings with 200 bucks off. Um, I, I think the course is worth a thousand or 2000 personally, but, um, I priced it at 500, 497 originally. And then, uh, just because, uh, we're at the start of it, there's already, um, I think 160 sold, but 124 are showing in the group right now, but get in there, get it. Um, love to work with you. And if you have any questions, let me know and you go ahead and have yourself a wonderful day. We'll see you in the course.